ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the nighttime show with Steve and Kramer Glickman. Joining us as always, head writer Matt Walker. Our announcer is out sick today, has a case of the farts. Robbie is stuck at a subway <laughs> turnstile. Can't get in. Can't get in. Our guest for today, from the real O'Neills, Matt Shively is here. And of course, our host as always, Steven Kramer Glickman. Do, do you feel good about the decision to not have me do the announcement? <laughs> I feel so much better that you didn't do the announcement. <laughs> You suck at announcing things. We haven't even tried. I don't want to try. How would you do it? Uh, hey, here's this show that we're on oh, God. with the stupid who, fat dude, Stephen Who are you, Glickman. Kyle Kinane? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Kyle Kinane sounds like. He's the uh, voice of Comedy Central. This, this, uh, hey, wait, we'll, he's he's a professional again. announcer. Hang on. Redo it. Let's start right, the music right, again. I'm going to do it as Kyle Kinane. I'm going to do the okay, intro you do Kyle as Kyle Kinane. Then, right, then we'll go. do it again, then I'll do it. No, oh, no, no. Nobody no, no, wants we'll, to hear you do it. All right. All right. This is uh, Kyle Kinane uh, introducing the nighttime show. Okay. Uh, hey everybody, um, this, uh, it's the nighttime show with, um, uh, this guy, he was on True Jackson VP, Matt Shively, and, uh, some fucking asshole named Matt Walker's here, and, uh, Stephen Kramer Glickman. That's that, that's kind of a that's my Kyle Kinane impression. But you know he's a professional. He's the voice of Comedy Central. He's like their yeah whatever. their announcer. You're the announcer for <laughs> my asshole. Um, guys, uh, it doesn't pay very well. It really doesn't. <laughs> it's just you all day. Just here comes another fart. Um, it, it's very echoey. Too. I apologize. It's very as a big asshole. Um, how are you, Matt? You doing all right? I am doing all right. Yeah, you're wearing a Star Wars Dodger shirt. It's a Dodger Star Wars Day shirt. Does I that, went. Does that get all the ladies? Does all that... the ladies. <laughs> you know, when I went to uh, when I went to Dodger Stadium for Star Wars Day, every guy was there in cosplay. They were all dressed up as Han Cholo. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a good. Uh, that's go. a good. That was really good. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm, that's why I'm the head writer of the show, right there. Han, that's why Han Cholo. I like that. <laughs> there were a couple of Jabba the Sluts. I Big love. Girls. I love you. I know. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. That's Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo. Um, I love. I like the. I love sports. So <laughs> that was great. Can you name more than four sports? Sure. Okay. Can, How about this? We'll do a quiz. Can you name more than three professional baseball teams? Yes, I totally. The Padres. Okay. The Dodgers, uh -huh. the Red Sox, okay, the in Indiana Base Steelers. <laughs> uh, no, 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 so no. You can name I, three. No, I know, I know. The 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 New York Yankees. Okay, it's four. That's four. That's all I know. All right, that's it for me. How about the Angels? Ever heard of them? I don't know who that is. I saw a movie called Angels in the Outfield. Is that what that's about? That's about that team. Actually, it is. Is it? Yeah, Tony Danza plays like an angel. Hey, Samantha. I guess because he's in anything with Angel and Angela. <laughs> from Who's the boss? But he's in that movie, isn't he? In Angel and Angela? I, I, I don't think so. I'm yeah, pretty sure you're wrong about yeah. that. I don't, I don't know. know. I think Christopher Lloyd was in it. He, he was. was. It. Yeah. yeah. But in that movie, <gasps> oh, Angels. Because it's that's a, that was the Disney <laughs> movie. The worst impression of Christopher Lloyd. No, that's the Disney movie that came out right. It was either right before or right after Disney bought the Angels. What? And then. Uh, they made that movie in Anaheim, and they redid the stadium when they made the movie. And then, like the, in the movie, angels actually like affect the flight of balls so they can catch them in the outfield right. and not become home runs and stuff. Which is did that stupid. make people care more about the angels? Uh, no, I didn't think so. No, I'm from Los Angeles. I don't care about the angels. <sighs> hey, can can Disney buy the Raiders? Is that possible? And no. just turn that around. Don't make me stab you because oh, I will. I know you're an actual Raiders fan. Hardcore. Yeah, like I, face painting Raider fan. I've seen you do it. I saw you do uh, uh, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life, which was it was an Avatar character. Yes, but dressed, but done as um, in silver and black. In silver and black. I'm Avatar. Well, this is back when they had Nam the Awesome on the team, oh, 
So I went as Navi Asamoa. How the fuck do you ever get laid? Like, how does that <laughs> ever happen? And it happens. It happens. I think you are your own <laughs> cock block, though. I, I, tr- I really am. You really If I got out of my own way, I'd be getting laid constantly. Yeah, no. I mean, the, With penis, my the, massive pe- the penis. penis on this guy. You wouldn't believe the penis. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. All right. That's enough. That's enough of that. Hey guys, uh, you gotta check this out. There's this new app that I'm using, and I'm obsessed with it. It's called Yo Shirt, and uh, you can get it. Yeah, you can get it on your phone. You gotta try this thing. It's super, super cool. What does it do? Okay, so Yo Shirt is the app for creating one of a kind apparel and accessories on your iPhone. What? Yes, I mean you can take a picture of a comic book cover, your favorite comic book, Mike. Okay, take a picture of that. One of your uh, famous Instagram photos that you do sure. of like action figures fighting I love each other. Photography. Take one of those <laughs> pictures and you can turn it into a t shirt you can wear at Comic Con or at any at any con or at anything any day of the week. And it doesn't people, even have to be a It doesn't have to be a Comic Con, it could be anything. Can you take a picture of an X Con and get that on a shirt? You can put an X Con on a shirt. What else can you put on a shirt? Ex girlfriend, you can put on a shirt. Anything with an X. Shaka Con. Shaka Con, you can put on a shirt. Whatever you want. This thing is incredible. Uh, when, you, when you put it on the app, is that it? You just print up a boring old picture? No, 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 no. You can you can do all sorts of stuff to customize your designs with stickers, backgrounds, text, whatever you want. You can yeah, share your creations. Shirts. You can only do No, you, there's so many different. You got to check out this app, guys. You what guys. Shirt? There's sweaters. There's leggings. There's underwear. There's tote bags. There's socks. Now, a lot of these apps try to rip people off. You give them your financial information. Oh, no, no. These guys are incredibly secure, super fast. It's a secure checkout with Apple Pay. Oh. All right. Now, uh, this is a quick note to our listeners, because I know we have listeners all over the world. Uh, Yo Shirt ordering and shipping is currently only available in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, but if you are a fan of Yo Shirt and you're in another country, we're going to be getting cool like Yo Shirt stuff. And mm-hmm. if you let us know that you live in another country, we'll ship it to you as a gift. Uh, you are sure to impress your friends and your family when you express yourself with Yo Shirt. Guys, uh, don't forget to check it out. It's a super cool app. YoShirt.com. That's YoShirt.com. YoShirt.com. Tell all your friends. Let's bring out our. Let's. Do you want to do your headlines? Uh, we're gonna do headlines okay. with our guests because okay. uh, because I think it's a uh, it's it's a big deal that we have them right. and I want to talk to him and I feel weird. That yeah. he's just sitting here looking so damn handsome. <laughs> oh, you got to get up on the mic. Though. You got to get real. <clears> close. It was a long walk. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you. from the TV show The Real O'Neills, I knew him from True Jackson. You know him from all sorts of other wonderful shows. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest man. In history, Matt Scheibel. Of all time. Wow. Yeah! That feels really, really nice. What's up, man? How are I, you? I'm great. What other TV shows have I done? I don't know. You don't but know? I know that there's I, other shows that you you've done. You make my resume time. sound very long. No, no. You were also in Paranormal Activity. That's uh, a movie, but that's which one? four. Four. The, yes. the last one to make a fair amount of money. Now- it, you didn't I saw one to. through three. It's very boring. After and then we four. wrote a parody movie. That was awful. Yes, uh, and I had to watch one through three because I hadn't seen any of them. And I watched one through three but in like one night to get set for a writing session for this terrible movie. You were in we're three, writing. right? I was in four. If you were in four. Three and was at, really good. Four was five. Decent. No, four was three. Four was good. Five is where they went to the. It was like the cholo. Yeah, that it was. was like it was technically a spinoff yeah. of it. It was like the marked yeah. ones. It and there's another one coming out, isn't there? It already came out. It was okay, the final one. It was the ghost dimension. Yeah. You know, they had to make. As many as they possibly. Well, could. yeah, because the budget it costs is super twelve dollars to make and a movie. It makes one hundred and fifty million dollars domestically. So what, what was the budget on on uh, Paranormal? I'm TV? guessing the budget without marketing was like fifteen million. That's a, that's amazing. We reshot that movie four four times before it actually what? came out, and everything that's in the movie was what you see two we- what we shot two weeks before it came out. What? Yeah, we were literally, we shot all through the summer. And then came back. By the way, horror movie. The script was two hundred and fifty pages long. That's crazy. Get out of here. Yeah. That's insane. That's yeah. like twice as long as it well, should I'm, be. I'm pretty sure there's like six hours of extra footage. Holy in it. shit! Yeah, but we, everything that's in the movie was what we shot literally two weeks before it came out. It came oh out my like God. Uh, like October first. Mm-hmm. We finished September fifteenth. Wow, that's outrageous, yeah. man. Yeah. Was that's it good? Insane. What the movie? Yeah. 
it's all right. It's a, yeah, bo- it's, it's, a, a little, it's a little slow. It's a little boring. And I, there's it, the problem with them is that with the first one, you know, there's 12 people deciding and then second yeah. one, there's 20 and then 30. And so we had like 50 people trying to figure trying out to decide, yeah. what the story was. That's why the first happen. one was like a big hit because yeah. it was just like three guys made this was, movie yeah, for like no three money. Good ideas. And they were like, let's just do this exact thing. And then they brought Spielberg in to like redo the ending of that movie. Oh, mm-hmm. of, the first, of the first one or the he, second of one? Of the first one. Yeah. And he yeah. like redid the ending. That was for after that. the festival circuit. It already exactly, happened, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know. It was it was fun. Do you, you want to hear time. what else he's done on TV? Yeah, please. Because I have some <laughs> yeah. TV shows I pulled up. Tell, me, tell me some things. Uh, okay, so he was in uh, Winx Club: The Secret of the Lost Kingdom. No, Damn hang straight. on. Hang on. As Before Prince we get Sky. No, Damn wait, straight. Wait a second. Before we get into this, Shively and and I, Matt Shively and I, are friends. We go back. Mm-hmm. We, we go, go way. We back. go way back. We so shared lots together. We, we were did. stage to stage. We we were like we were like. Uh, I don't want to say ass to ass, but we were we were you know, technically ass to ass. The front yeah, entrances ass-to-ass. were on opposite on the sides, other so, sides. Yeah, so, so we were, we were ass to ass, ass to ass. I'm like um, already hard. So, so what was? Uh, <laughs> can you tell us about Winx Club? What was it like? It was a, it was an animated show, yeah. and I rocked a super mean midriff. I had long blonde hair, mm-hmm. and okay. it was a it was originally an Italian show. And we were just dubbing over in English yeah. and, and making it was our own. Was that a Nickelodeon Yeah, show? it was a Nickelodeon thing. I'm pretty sure half my resume is Nickelodeon, the other half is Disney, and then you throw Paranormal Activity right in the, right in the middle of it. Okay. What, what's the difference for you between uh, working for those two different networks? Like those two oh, there were a bunch companies. of Winx Clubs um, I'm looking here. Oh, yeah. We did, we did like 200 episodes, and oh there were movies God. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Your, but because I will say, thing on your voiceover stuff is like the easiest work I've ever done. You walk in, you spend 15 minutes, and then you leave, and that you've done like five episodes. It's fantastic. Um, the difference between Nickelodeon and Disney, uh, I mean, Disney has more money. Sure. They fly mm-hmm. you first class. Wow. Yeah, Very that was nice. nice. I flew for Nickelodeon like 15 times, and they had like a coach-only rule, <laughs> and which the worst, mm-hmm. literally worst experience I've ever had. I'm sitting in coach, getting ready to go on the cruise, mm-hmm. and I see SpongeBob, like the voice of SpongeBob, walk up Tom, with, yeah. with his like five kids and go yeah. straight to, to first class. And I was like, okay. All right. Oh. That's how that works. But Disney worked for them once and they flew me I'm first sitting class, so. in first class. Oh, he's here now. <laughs> <laughs> he's worked hard for it. He Hot it. towels. But, yeah. um, but the, I, yeah, I think no. Disney's more of a bubble. Nickelodeon is more open to, you know, if somebody gets a DUI, I think they can get away with it. If they get it on Disney, not so Done. much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that. That makes sense. Um, you know, wh- my, uh, my contract with Nickelodeon said, they said, uh, you know, in my contract, how funny is this? They said, Stephen is so fat. <laughs> this is my, my lawyer said this. Stephen is so fat, he either gets two coach seats or one first class seat. And so when they mm-hmm. fled to fly me out places. What kind of, what, it was what in kind my contract. Of, yeah. got, I got it in my contract. First class seat. Why would I even? <laughs> I'll take the two coach, please. I'll, I'll two, two coach. Thank, but you know what? Coach. I used the two coach and used it for my girlfriend so that she could fly out with me for free. That's oh, what well, I, that actually that makes sense. Yeah, but I did it. I did it uh, a couple times. Did you tell her times. that you bought it? No, like, babe, she I got knew. you an extra seat. She, she was like, <laughs> she was like, you're fat ass. This was in the contract, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? She slept. She slept with her face on my on my lap the whole time. Well, you don't have to buy a pillow. <laughs> yeah, that was our, worked out. <laughs> worked he is out very okay. pillowy. I'm very you're pillowy. like a cloud. I am. I am. I make fun of my dog for being a fat pillow. Cutest damn dog, by the way. It's a very cute my dog. My God, but God, dumb. Is, Dumb and Jelly and Donut like, is the dumbest dog I've ever seen. You kind of screwed life. him over though by like instantly naming, naming him Jelly, Jelly Donut. Donut. Yeah, she yeah. probably was like, "Man, I can be dumb." And then his other that. dog, yeah. uh, it's his girlfriend's dog, Noodle, yeah. is an asshole. It's he the biggest asshole. He doesn't dog. like the other dog. I like I like that other both. dog's an asshole. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> I know it's because if you would, if there was any training whatsoever done on these freaking dogs, uh, there's no training involved. That's the problem. Why okay. train? You just they, you just let them go. Were they like they're like feral <laughs> feral they pugs are. running through the they house? They just become you guys. They run though, the place they, at that yeah. point. If you don't train them, they they automatically just start they to just, become. They run you. the place. I'm not kidding you. Jelly Donut sits on the couch the exact same way I sit on the couch. <laughs> just she's like a pillow with eyeballs. Yeah, just like it and just like you, you know how when uh, <laughs> she, you know how, like, like when like, Jabba uh, the Hutt uh, was on that little platform. Yeah. That's slightly, what it looks like. Slight, yeah. Like almost like a calendar fold. Yes, just slightly... It really does. That's what she looks like. That's yeah. amazing. It's hysterical. That's pretty My amazing. favorite thing to do is if she does something wrong, I put her in like a stupid costume and make her stay in a costume for the rest does of the day. Does she just sit in the closet like you son of a bitch? No, she walks around the house in a princess dress and it's hysterical. That's pretty fantastic. And I get yeah. to How have I not seen that? You post about it all the time. I don't think I've ever seen it I've in a seen a picture dress. of it in a have dress. You? Yeah, it's like a, a tutu and all kinds of ridiculous I stuff. I must have missed that Instagram. 
Yes. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Now, uh, tell me, Matt, you were also on something called Barrio Tales, and you don't look like somebody who would be in Barrio Tales. Oh, I like that. Barrio That's Tales, a funny story, uh, was written by, like, my best friend, who is the most, like, Jewish, like, reclusive kid I know. And we somehow, like, I like I came up, like, with some of the budget for that. That was, like, the we made this movie for $30,000. Mm-hmm. And it was like three stories as a horror movie. It's like Tales from the Crypt? Pretty much, yeah, mm-hmm. but Tales from the Barrio. Okay. And it was like, I mean, it was really ridiculous, but we were all super young, and, and all of our friends were in it. It was just like, it played on Showtime for like four years straight. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, like, like every single night at 2 a.m. you could flip it to Showtime, and Barrio oh Tales was on. Yeah. Is that good That's residuals amazing. on that? Or no, like no, it's I've, so cheap, I've never seen like it. I, I literally, I think I paid $1,200 for a location, and I've never seen any of that never money seen it back. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Do you, yeah. what what do you get residuals from like what what, what not comes? Nickelodeon no yeah. I know no Nickelodeon has a no residuals but no actually theirs is they have to play an episode twenty times yeah. before, before you, you get... get residuals which is great because when you do sixty five episodes I mean if you take it like by the time they w- play one episode twenty times they're not playing the episode yeah you know it's, it's they, such they play a each nineteen shit. times they're like we're done yeah. Yeah. yeah, that that is literally uh, that was an after law, right? That, that wasn't even now, post merger. It can't be that way, right? I would imagine not. Yeah, no, yeah. I think SAG has a different. Deal Those kids with probably it got now. it made now. I know. I I've had conversation. I I've, I've talked to so. There's many There's not a way to like that. lay over. Be like, well, listen, we weren't SAG then, but it is now, and I think that we deserve a cut. I've had a lot of talks with SAG about it. Like we've. I'm not kidding you. I've had like my attorney talk to SAG. Yeah, he might it. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's a fucking shitty deal. And, well, and it's still it on the air. Our shows are still the on time. the air it sometimes. The so it's like, it is such an illegal. Bo- so that so the way that everybody can understand this, uh, when you act on a TV show, uh, they air that show. Like I was on Workaholics. No. They they aired Workaholics, and then every time they air it. For for as long as it is airing, every time they air it, I'll see like a little check in the mail, right? Uh, for a small for, amount of money, yeah. For like for my work over the time, right? Mm-hmm. And it's not a lot of money, but it. Well, the know, best is when you get a like a anywhere between six cents to one cent. Sure. When you know that it costs more to, to mail make the, the paper check. and yeah. mail the check. Right. Of course. And, you're like, and they send you all of them in like a clump. It's like why didn't you just put them all together and make it two dollars? Yeah. You yeah. know, the two dollars that it actually adds up to. Just send me two That's like check. that Seinfeld episode where Jerry was getting residuals from something in Japan and he had a bunch of one penny checks and he had to sign <laughs> them all with his hand and like he got yes. a cramp in his hand from See, that's the thing. Checks. I get yeah. them from Winks. I do get residuals, but at, but now because they don't really play them anymore, I, my mom went and picked oh god i just gave away that my mom picks up my checks <laughs> my mom went and picked up my checks nothing wrong because i'm a man i'm a man and she wants to help man. me out. and i say okay <laughs> i'm a man but she picked up 76 checks and, they, and it added up to i think roughly 24 dollars <laughs> wow I'm not even joking hell? yeah it's insane that's amazing like yeah. open the thing and it's overflowing you pick it out and you're like well, we got a payday today and it's no it's literally oh, barely buys you lunch yeah that's terrifying. Yeah. Isn't that the craziest? Yeah. The it's ridiculous. Thing. It's crazy. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, when when you do a show on Nickelodeon, the deal is instead of that, what they well, how they used to do it is, I don't know if it's still like this, but the deal was, um, if you get paid above scale, uh, which is like what's what's scale? Do you know what scale is? Scale anymore? for uh, like for, for regular. I mean, Stephen, a scale is the thing you stand on. <laughs> you know spin what? They spin around. You know, like, all really right, fast. forget it. We <laughs> I don't, don't know have... the scale. The scale is. I mean, it varies. I think it's like eight hundred or a thousand, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Right. So if you're paid above that for your work on the show, then uh, the residuals have to add up to as much as you were paid per episode before they can pay you. I totally lost you. It's just the most. <laughs> okay, so if you're, let's say you're getting a thousand dollars a day, right? Then the residuals have to add up to a thousand dollars before they actually cut the check. Is right, that what you're saying? Exactly. Oh wow. Okay. So they just hold on to it until it gets no, to no, 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 no. They keep it. They keep that. Oh, so when they hit the thousand dollar mark, that's when they start cutting you the that, penny. Yeah, checks. exactly. So they're not they're not letting it hit that mark. Right. So they keep it below that, and then yes. they're like, all right, we're going to yank this series it's for a while. It's the same reason why uh, why iCarly was like, how many episodes? I think they, they ended got, up doing over 100, I think. They did over but 100. But they did like 46 episodes, or like something like 46 episodes in one season. Yeah. yeah. Crazy it's a, it's You know what? It's That's a like very what TV tricky. was like in the yeah. 50s. They yeah. used to, like if you ever look up old shows on IMDb, uh, like if you look up Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock Presents or whatever, because I like that show and I was watching one the other day, and I was like, oh, I wonder when this was on. I looked up IMDb and it was like 47 episodes per season. I was like, yeah. They just were never off. They just constantly made. They just cranked one out every well, single. Because there week. were only like four shows on the air at the time, right? Yeah. So let me ask you this: True Jackson was that your first big show that yeah. you had done? Yeah. Like yeah. A, I mean, the, like I think the the only other thing I had done 
other than like a commercial was uh, I did two lines on Zoe 101 like three years prior to that. God, that no, you gross. do see yeah. the tomb. No, no, and no, no, I, I owe my do. life to Corbin Blue. That was another then? one that my friend wrote. Those, that those was, it was a things. short. Okay. Yeah, those aren't yeah. those aren't real things. All right, no, no, let's. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about Drew Jackson. Yeah, right, I want this one. I want to talk about right, because that's where we met. Yeah. And it was you, uh, it was Kiki Palmer. Robbie was, Amell. And yeah, Robbie Amell. Ashley oh, my Argo. God. Mm-hmm. Who's and a Ashley and star now. Ashley, who's killing it on They're all. I mean, all that, that we got really lucky. All of the kids in the cast like are still working Is Robbie Amell, consistently. what show is he on now? What show isn't he on now? He's, he's on the X-Files. He's on The Flash. He, uh, is do, he just Flash. did Ark for Netflix, which mm-hmm. he's a lead in that. And then his brother is Stephen Amell, who is Arrow. Who's Arrow. Yeah. On the show Arrow. Yeah. No, his, it's his cousin. Did you say cousin? His cousin? Yeah, it's his cousin. cousin. I, they're, that family, I don't, I don't get it. They breed like a dog. They're mm-hmm. very gorgeous people. It's absurd. I mean, I genuinely cut from the gods. We know, I know a couple guys. Like here, now you, you... You party with some of the best of them. I've seen you I- hang. Well, because you came up with with some great people. I did, and um, like uh, the la- one of the again, okay, one of the times that we've hung out, it was uh, we hung out one time at uh Sarah Highland's house. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and it was you and me and Sarah Highland and her uh, ex, yes. uh, boyfriend at the time. Yes. Um, are we allowed to talk about this? I, th- this I don't know. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Depends do on how it. deep we get into it. Just got, do it. Okay. No, it was, it, was, it was all of us. We were all hanging out, and her ex boyfriend, who is kind of a piece of shit, he's right? not the greatest, not dude. the greatest guy. He turns to me. I don't know if you know this. This is a true story. He turns to me at the party, and he goes, uh, "Hey, man, you uh, you want to sm- you want to like smoke some drugs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know something like this." And I go, "Um, no, I'm all right, man. I'm okay." And he goes. Oh come on, man! I go no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. And he was kind of a he's kind of a loose cannon. Like, this is that peer pressure my mom <laughs> yeah. was telling me. Well, about. The best part is that I don't even think he smokes. <laughs> I think no, he was I, like I, just I, putting you under he's pressure. Just like, trying to pressure you, me. He's try, He's testing the waters out yeah. with you. Yeah. Do you and want so to smoke? I go, no, do you want to no, share needles? I don't. I, go, I, don't, I don't. I don't do that. I'm okay. And he goes, "Are you hungry?" And I go, "I'm always hungry." And he goes, "You want some? Uh, you want some crackers?" And I go, "Sure." And he goes, "Here's a bowl of goldfish crackers." And I ate the oh, whole bowl, no. and they were uh, weed crackers. Oh, that's brutal. And I literally you couldn't tell. No I hate edibles specifically because the taste is like disgusting. I can't. The taste of weed is. Sure. I'm like I can't do that. Well, the cheddar was overwhelming. You, <laughs> it was just so. You didn't I was care. Really enjoying the cheddar. You didn't care. You just were. No, I was enjoying. And then I literally was like, then I just was enjoying it too much. Is that why know? I saw you just floating around in the jacuzzi afterwards? Yep. That's what happened. He turned into I, a giant goldfish. He floats really yeah, nicely, by the way. He just kind of sits there. I've seen like, it. Hi, Lou. You kept like poking me. the stars. <laughs> yeah. <It was> like, <laughs> like, why is it such a nice night tonight? Um, You've seen me out, out though. Yeah, I mean, I look. You've out, got, out. you've got like real. You've got some real fans who like shit their pants. Like, we no, were I think at, I have like two of them. I have, no, I have two that like follow me around. I posted on stalkers, stalkers basically. Yeah. Well, I posted on Twitter um, and asked for like uh, five questions. From your fans of quest of things they want to know about you. Oh, and people um, actually replied. And they, they replied, and I oh, have wow. them. Uh, and um, oh wow, hang on, real quick. Is, I'm um, guaranteeing two of them are about whether or not my my feet are ticklish. It's it's a very good possibility. Have you ever um, noticed that's like one of the biggest? I swear to God, do ev- ever, everybody you know, asks here, that. Okay, Ashley Ergoda, who's in your show with yeah. you. If you ever Google Ashley Ergoda, because we were looking up her IMDb page one time, and like you know, it gives you the suggested yeah. things. The number one thing that comes up is Ashley Ergoda feet. I'm am t- telling you, it's so it's weird creepy. the obsession with feet, man. It's weird. It's really, really, really creepy. Que- really creepy. Really creepy. It's really, <laughs> que- it's really creepy. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried, because let's be honest, who in their right mind would claim to be me if they weren't? I want to tell you about my hilarious podcast, Gilbert Gottfried's amazing colossal podcast, right here on the Sideshow Network. Each week, me and my co-host, Frank Santo Padre talk to movie stars, comedians, singers, directors, and other entertainers about classic Hollywood. Sometimes they even answer us. If you didn't catch the name, that's Gilbert Gottfried's amazing colossal podcast every Monday. 
then Thursday, named by the Village Voice as the best podcast of 2015. Download, rate us, and subscribe on iTunes or check us out on sideshownetwork.tv slash Gilbert Gottfried. It's wee 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 queepy. <laughs> um, uh, with that, we're gonna do um, uh, a little section that we like to call "Questions from the Internet." <laughs> it's almost ready. A little thing we like to call "Questions from the Internet." Questions from the Internet. Questions from the Internet. Format Shively. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was amazing. First, Thank you, Ex Mortis. First, <laughs> that's Ex Mortis, our house band that we love that's on tour. Um, question for you. Number one question. Uh, this is, well, this is number five. Number five right, question okay. for you. Um, how do you get your hair so damn nice? That what? was uh, from uh, at Bieber72. At Bieber72. Nice no, what's hilarious is that my hair is thinning right now. Mm-hmm. So I actually have what? been spending. A lot more time on it, so it's like I I have like multiple products I use. I have like a hairspray and a mm-hmm. like a like a mixing cream. Like, are you getting on uh, finasteride? Minoxidil, I started taking Propecia. Propecia, yeah. I'm worried about my sex drive, but yeah. I started taking Propecia. So. I think your sex drive is fine. Well, yeah, do you? You're hard right now. <laughs> I, I am. I'm still hard from previous <laughs> previous uh, comments. Oh, oh dear God! Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, question number four from the internet is. Uh, who would you who would you rather do? Kiki Palmer or Vanessa Hudgens? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, <laughs> that that is from uh Bieber Lover 62. I that, think I'd have I to I don't know why there's so many. They're all Bieber, Bieber lovers. There's a lot of Bieber. I know lovers. both of them, but I know one of them more like a sister than the other, so I think I'd say Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah. I've seen not Vanessa to say Hudgens I'm not a person. little not a little like, you know, I wouldn't I'm a little intrigued about say, Vanessa about Hudgens Kiki? yeah yeah she's, 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 a, she's a beautiful woman but hey Vanessa Hudgens on camera looks great in person blows away that she looks on camera like she's one of those people where like you see her in person you're like holy yeah. crap like cuz we met her one oh, night oh god are we telling the story all right, this is I have this to know the story now. That happened. Okay, <laughs> oh, me, about me and Matt. Yeah, no, I wasn't no, even no. going to say that part, it's but yeah. So oh damn god, good. did you say something bad? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Matt and me are sitting at Bob's Big Boy having, uh, you know, uh, health food. We, we'd done a show and, at a comedy club and went to go eat afterwards. Yeah, so we're Bob's. sitting at Bob's Big Boy and we're eating, you know, whatever. And I look over and Sam, uh, what's her name? Sam, Sam, Samantha, Samantha. Uh, Droke? Droke. Yeah, Sammy Droke. Is sitting yeah. at Drake. another... Drake. Yeah, yeah, Droke. Droke. She's yeah. sitting at a table with Ashley Tisdale, Vanessa Hudgens. We saw them walk in, and they were, like, stumbling because they were all drunk off their Right. Ass. And, like, a couple other people. And yet still, right. like, the fan was blowing. And, oh, like, yeah. The they still yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous. Best looking drunk girls you ever seen. Right. So I told the waiter, this is my move, I send over uh, five milkshakes to the table. Like there are five one, people sends over people. five milkshakes. So I send five milkshakes over. Right. That's and how we met Tila Tequila. That's how we met doing the same thing. Same thing. Is that how you slept with Tila Tequila, too? But you can't. You won't. You can, if you you want. Want. I would imagine. Does it take more than you. one milkshake? No, no. No. One milkshake is fine. <laughs> okay. So we go. I, we go over to the table to go say hi to her, and uh, I, we go to say hello, and they're like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, because he knew so Sam from when she was dating Carlos from right. Big Time Rush. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we go over. We go to say hi, and uh, and uh, Vanessa has a Hudgens has a camera with her, and Ashley Tisdale goes, "Oh, don't mind Vanessa. She just is loves taking pictures." And Matt goes, "Oh, I know. I've seen some of her pictures." Oh fuck. <laughs> No, you did that, and they just <laughs> they, it they just didn't... shut down the room. It oh my god! Shut it down. I feel like like lights went out. Oh. Everybody's scattered away. Like the hair on my back. That's one of those Look, things where you were th- you were thinking it and you said it in your mind, but it actually was from your mouth. I, I have no filter to stop me from saying those things. So like yeah. when I think them, I say them. Shively, Matt it's Walker is a fun. bad person. All right, <laughs> and yet he's the head writer of your he's, show. He, that's, that's why, why I'm here. Did him. he? Did did you just do like a slow like lower down? under the table and just no like, i just 
acted like it was like a normal thing. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, what, I, what I bought a bop and I saw you in bop. Look, it's, if you're going to show your bush on the internet, then I'm going to see it. I'm she's sorry. She's taken a lot of naked pictures of yeah. her. There's, there has been a lot out Have there. You, did you see Grease? Did you see your own Grease? I did see Grease. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It, was great. it, 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 it really great. was. I th- everybody blew me away in that show. I, yeah. was, I was very I was very impressed. I was so impressed with every single thing that yeah. happened. I was, I like, was very surprised, too. I didn't think it was going to be that good, and it was it was stunning. It was stunning. No, because, you know, doing a. Do you want to do that? Are you. Do you want to do that? I would absolutely love to do that. TV musical? Yeah, I would love to do a TV musical. I wanted to do Grease. Do you practice? But they went all ethnic. Do you, like, roll up a pack of cigarettes in your sleeve to practice? Is that what you do? I have it. I have it rolled up. I got it already. I can't fit a pack of cigarettes in it, but I can. I got it rolled up to You could do it. Maybe a small pack. A soft pack. Stick a couple cigarettes in there. There we go. I'll just line it with cigarettes. As if they're bullets. That'll be like a bandolier. Line it with cigarettes. That's normal. People do that, right? Yeah, I think so. Thing. Um, when you were doing True Jackson, what was the relationships like with, between you and those and those two ladies and that gentleman? What what's the relationships like? They were the good. I, oddly enough, I never. They were you know two three years younger than me, so I didn't ever really have the opportunity. I mean, I was eighteen when we started. Like I right. I, I started at like the week mm-hmm. I turned eighteen, so I was able to go do other things. They were, you know, very much with their parents. So, you know, I saw them at work and we would text sometimes, but we were never very close. Ashley and I were really, really close. Her and I are still very, very close. Sure. Um, I don't really talk to me other than Robbie. I don't really, I haven't seen Kiki in like five years. Wow. But like I see Ashley all the time. I talk to Ashley. But on the show, like it really wasn't that much. We, you know, we, they were young and I was older. And Robbie was constantly doing push-ups and pull-ups and I was constantly <laughs> eating food. Jeez. <laughs> I literally spent a year, I because I moved out on my 18th birthday, like an idiot. I was like, I'm going to get a studio in Hollywood. That's what an actor mm-hmm. does. And it ended up having mold and asbestos. I had to move out two, week, two yeah. months later. Right. But then I moved uh, across the street from Seventh Vale. Mm-hmm. No way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Great. I have a great story about the first and only time I ever went to Seventh you Vale. You have to tell the story, but yeah. keep going. Keep going. So uh, there's a Wendy's across the street. Right. I ate Wendy's every single night for about six or seven months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that I got shows, my freshman 30. Now, being back-to-back with Glickman, clearly Glickman was influencing you. Right, yeah. If, you, like, if all you did was sit around and he, he was actually always telling me to stay in shape. He said, when this is done, like, you need a six-pack to get further. And I was like, I don't, I don't believe you, and I was stuffing dough. <laughs> I don't he was, believe you. He, he, that's because he didn't want competition. Was I was like, like, I got I the was fat like you're doing out. just fine. I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> Can't I have two fat guys, no. How did you come into the business? Like, what? How did it get started? I mean, I... I Where are you from? I'm from here. I'm from Covina, which is like 30 minutes east. Um, but I want, I started it, I wanted to do it in fourth grade, but my mom didn't want me to do it because she was afraid of the rejection and all of that kind of stuff, which is that's a real completely thing. valid. Absolutely. Um, I don't think any kid really the, that age should be doing it because being told no, like four times a week is not a good thing. Yeah. Um, but then I went to John Robert Powers. Oh shit. Yeah. I was one of those kids who spent $1,200 for like mm-hmm. commercial classes oh, and did like yeah, five, my, five my. commercial classes. But that luckily after like a year a year after I did that, I finally was like, can I try again? And my mom was like, okay. And they had like agent auditions once mm-hmm. a month. And if you had done classes in John Robert Powers, you could go to it. So that was where I got my first agent. But I like, I had like three agents in between before I finally had a good agent. Mm-hmm. And then she introduced me to my manager, uh, Richard Konigsberg. I have to give him a shout out because when he met me, he told me, he was like, if you sign with me, I promise you within two months, I'll, you'll be on a show. And literally a month later, I booked Drew Jackson. Wow. Holy it was, shit. And it was actually like my last audition because it was a couple weeks before I was graduating and I needed to go to college or do something. So I was wow. like, I looked at it and I was like, this is me. And I actually walked into the audition and looked at the casting director, Christian Bullock, and I was like, this is the last time you're going to see me. And she was like, you were quitting? And I was like, no, I'm going to book this. It's going to happen. Because mm-hmm. all I ever went out for was Nickelodeon and Disney. That was it. Period. Wow. Yeah. So. So and then it happens. So. God, that's fantastic. That's crazy. Yeah. What an amazing situation, man. Yeah, it worked out pretty nicely. <laughs> you know, uh, John Robert Powers. What a bizarre yeah. and amazing, strange place. Yeah, I don't know if they're still around. I I don't, I, I know the buildings there, but I mean, I don't know you if know, they're in there. <laughs> one time I went I went there when I was in my I was like twenty two, twenty three years old. Oh, was somewhere in my twenties. I went in there for a meeting, and uh, and they were like, "Do you want to be an agent here?" And I was like, maybe. Were I, they an agency? They were like, they were starting to like rep people. Okay. And I think that kind of brought them down. Right. I think that was like the reason that they're not still. But they used to be um, next to Boa 
steakhouse on Sunset. Yeah, yeah, at the very like the bottom of Sunset. Yeah, yeah, I remember I'd go to Frankie and Johnny's Pizza every Tuesday before we would uh, do the classes. I think the reason I got into those classes was because we didn't know how to find a way to like get classes or anything. But my mom found like this Pepsi Cola audition, mm-hmm. and it was yeah. at John Robert Powers, but it was actually just like a ploy oh, to get you in to, to get sell you, you in the classes because then they like pulled out like ten out of the fifty kids, and they're like, "Come with us!" And they like brought us into a room, and they were like, "We Shit. think you should do these classes." And Holy my mom had no idea what yeah. was what, and she was like, "Absolutely! Oh, twelve hundred dollars for five classes. Let's do it!" So. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. a big deal. I mean, yeah. that was like, that's how that company worked. You know that one of my favorite things in the whole world, Nickelodeon does this thing every few years. Do you know about this? Is the open casting call thing? No, where, no. They, go, where they go, we're doing a variety show. We're looking for variety acts. Can you sing, I dance, know act, this. perform? Come on in. Let's get you in here for this. It's a, it's a sketch show. You have to do all sorts of characters. And they send people in. And there's no sketch show. It's just to find new talent. And do they ever find? Yeah, anybody? they find a lot of talent that way. Wow, that's like how it's one of the ways. And I'm sure at some point they will do another like all that or something like this. Yeah, but that has been the way to get people to find like who the new people are. That yeah, I think that's wow. where they found um what's his name um little little peanut. You know little peanut. Little peanut. You know little oh the kid who's on the the the. Kel show, right? The new uh, Kel show, Game Stoppers or whatever? No, 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 no. He's on uh, the show, uh, The Haunted Hathaway. Oh, The Haunted Hathaway. By the way, the funniest thing that I've I've ever witnessed when I was at Nick is uh, they go to do Haunted Hathaways, this TV show. Yeah. About, about, is that the one where it was like... It's like a, a black like a black family yeah, and their ghosts. It was like, no, right? it was, I think it was a white yeah. family and there were black ghosts in the house. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's a white family, black ghost. Which is a little house. odd. And they kept they saying things that were well, racist. Here's, well, here's <laughs> you with that. That's a little weird that they, they put shoot, that on there. They shoot the pilot and they show the pilot to everyone at Nickelodeon, and um, they go. Anybody feel like there's anything racist about this show? <laughs> yeah. at all? And the one black girl who worked at Nickelodeon raises her hand and she goes, "Uh." It's a bunch of black people haunting a white family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she got fired. She was gone. And she was like, this shit's racist as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's a little Y'all racist. Y'all need to fix this shit. Well, didn't they use some racist terms, too? They used a couple. There was a couple racist terms that were thrown into the script yeah. in the original pilot. They reshot the entire pilot. Oh, yeah. wow. And made it into like a great show. Now it's a great show. They're not but... haunting them. They're helping them through their, yeah, their it's like a white problems. Thing, like, but... <laughs> so, <laughs> there's too many problems. It was like a whole bunch of issues. That's absurd. I, yeah, yeah it's now, I don't mean to derail us, but I think we still have three questions from the internet that you never got <laughs> oh, yeah. to. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, all right. Here, this is uh, question number three. Um, uh, what is your favorite place to take a lady on a date? My bedroom. Ba bam! Wow. wow. Okay. No, um, I don't. I, I like children. to. I like to make dinner. You know, I like to cook. I so. should say that's uh, from Selena sixty two. Oh well, okay. Selena sixty two. I like to cook dinner um, and watch a movie of sorts. It really depends. Fir- is that a first date? Yeah, absolutely. This is wow. Hollywood. Of course, it's a first date. So he you goes on Tinder. To your house. He yeah. goes on Tinder and he says, <laughs> it's "Netflix Bumble. and chill." Question it's mark. Bumble. I use Bumble. Bumble's <laughs> actually better. Bumble is way better. Raya is where it's at, though. Which one's that? You have to get accepted. Oh, that's the one that Quigley's on. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, I you can't have get, to get accepted. accepted private one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I'm like, I can't. I don't have the credits to get accepted on there. I don't have the money. I actually have like three or four friends who have tried to get on Raya, and and they're still waiting to be accepted. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's fast. Like, but it actually affects them. They're like, I still haven't gotten fucking accepted. We know we know a hot chick who's on there who just dates celebrities from it. She's dated. That's, so that's the thing. You get a, does it work? Does Ryan work? Yeah, man. She dated. Don't you have to pay money to be on it? No, no. But she dated Jeremy Piven and she dated Moby for from being that's a, on that. That's app. a big switch up there. It really is. You're yeah. really you're really two different spectrums of of the the people. She's, <laughs> she's However, in- if you look at old Jeremy Piven, like when he was going to be on Seinfeld and he was going to play the George Costanza role in the sitcom in a sitcom, that Jeremy Piven looks kind of like Moby. But current Jeremy Piven, yeah, no. Yeah, maybe. I saw Jeremy but- Piven yesterday running across the street in sweats looking very, very strong. Yeah. I was yeah. impressed. I met him just mm-hmm. recently 
very attractive, very cool. He's a good looking man. Yeah. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah. I like him. He's a good guy. Well, so you take a, a girl on a first date, you take her to your home. You I'll be honest with you. Over. I don't, I don't, okay, th- here's my problem. I don't go on very many dates. I, I, like, I don't go on dates. I'm, I'm a seed planner. So, like, I don't really go out and, like, meet a girl at a bar or something. Be careful go, hey, planting let's... your seed because that can come back and cost you 18 years of child support. Yeah, trust me, it probably already has. I just haven't found <laughs> out. Oh, my God. Um, but I don't, I don't, like, I've met girls at bars and stuff. I've gotten their number and I'm like, I'll take you on a date. And then every time, like, I'm about to be like, let's do it, I get too scared. I'm like, I get too nervous to, like, try to take somebody on a date. So what I do is I'll meet a girl, invite them over to hang out with my friends. Right. Mm -hmm. I put on the funny and try to, like, make sure that she sees that I'm, you know, funny and, you know, can look past the looks and all that kind of stuff. And then at that point, you know, we start watching movies together. And then if it turns into a thing, I don't know. I was in a very long relationship. How I was long in a, like, were you in a long relationship? I was in a four and a half year relationship up until time. 24. So like it's been so from like 20 a year and a half ago. Oh. Yeah, well, actually, it was like 19 to 24, pretty much. Wow. Jeez. It was on a, yeah, which, yeah, which were probably the years that I shouldn't have been yeah. in a relationship. I'm like trying to make up for lost time. But, whatever. But I haven't, I haven't been on like any dates or anything. I meet people through people and then slowly That's not do bad. stuff. He doesn't right, date, he we... just bangs. He's like, come on over, we're just going to bang. And Listen, there you go. if people can just be honest with each other, that's what they're looking to do. No? <laughs> like, no? All right, number two. Number two. I that's know, how you use celebrity absolutely. right there. That's how you use fame. <laughs> you, better, you better believe use it. Use the fame while come you on, have it. Shively. Like, <laughs> network sitcom star right there. Take See, that. that's the thing I have to learn. I've had people be just like, dude, you got a network show through. now. Like, just do it. I'm like, but I'm too afraid to just be like, listen, lady. Power your way through Hollywood. We're just doing the sex thing, and then you're out of here. I'm like, I have to play the game through text. That's because like, you're a nice guy. It. That's you're true. You're a nice I guy. I forget I'm a little bit of but a nice guy. But you can get that pussy. But you, you can get that I, I should give him the advice. My Tori always tells me this advice. I will give you the advice my friend who gets laid all the time tells me. He's like, just whip it out. Just, just whip, whip it out. No, don't ever do that. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> that winds me up on like an internet site that show that I have to go door to door and tell him I'm a sex offender. Yeah, no, no, no. What'd you like, do? Yeah. I just whipped it out. Don't listen to Mike. Mike is Mike. Mike <laughs> territory. The dangerous person. All right, number uh, number two question from the internet. What is your best celebrity experience? Oh, meeting God. a meeting another celebrity, and that is from Justin Bieber. Sucks my butthole 86 that's a why crazy it's it? either i why love they... justin bieber or love selena or justin bieber sucking butthole why would the, someone have such a long that's a long username yeah that's a long, very long username, username. Um, right. best celebrity experience actually you know what i'll say this it's probably josh peck and it's not because it's a good reason okay mm-hmm. my friends knew josh peck and i got really drunk one night when i was about I'll say 21 just for mm-hmm. legal reasons. He's 21, yes. And it was right after he had done the whackness. And I was really drunk at a party, and he was completely sober. I think he still is. He's like a sober guy. And That's I, like, and hang out. I did like that drunk dude thing where like I pulled him aside, and I was like, dude, I just want to let you know – like. I look up to you so much. You got out of Nickelodeon. Like you were able to break past that cloud that a lot of kids have because producers and cast directors. And he's like, thanks, man. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, you're just like, I like love you, man. You're so good. And I started like bawling my eyes out. What? In front of him. Yeah. Like to him. And he's sitting, he's sitting there looking at me like, oh, for sure. And he's looking at my buddy AJ, who he was friends with. He's like, AJ, come get, come get your dude. Yeah, man. Of course, man. Come get, come get your fucking dude right now. And I'm just like, no, man, I'm so sorry. I just wanted you to know, like, uh, like, you're really cool. I look, up to you and it's so what? nice yeah so that's that's probably my best celebrity experience just because no. it's the most memorable okay Glickman, wow rank that. is that better or worse than when you cried in front of snoop dogg uh that, no snoop dogg's better i'm okay. sorry but that is better. that is better but it is it's but not not nearly as was, bad as you no, used no, to no, say no, the thing no. of vanessa Hutchins. <laughs> <laughs> no but this yours is fantastic though yeah yours it's is just a fantastic, yeah I figured, no. anything else is boring and, that's you know like what? i gotta give you something good. i had a thing at comic-con where i ran into the guy from you know who it is he was in the movie <laughs> that one guy in that one moving he was picture in, uh, god uh, i need your something phone. to go on yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 i can't google the trekkies. guy from the thing what, what's the name of the uh fanboys fanboys um Kevin Smith? No, no. Look up fanboys. Look fanboys. up the movie okay. fanboys. Yeah, there's a um, movie called Fanboys. Dan Fogel. Dan Fogel. All right, so okay. Dan Fogel and me both auditioned for Shrek in okay. Shrek the Musical on right. Broadway. Okay, mm-hmm. but uh, but I ended up getting yeah, a you part got that over him, right? Okay, so he's gone on to beat me out for a million fucking roles, like stuff where and, he, and he's done he's he's done a million roles that like, right. I would never get called, but no roles where people times. were green ogres, right? Right. But that's the problem. I was drunk 
Um, he had oh, just no. recently beat me out for a role that we were both up for, and he he got it o- over me very quickly. And uh, I was at Comic Con. I was standing next to him at Comic Con, and I went, "Hey, man, uh, what's up? Good to see you again." And he goes, "Oh, hey, man, how are you?" And I go, "Yeah, man, good to, good to see you. Uh, you remember me?" And he goes, "Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure." And I go. We had a, we both auditioned for Shrek together, musical. He goes, right? Oh yeah. How are you? I go, pretty good, <laughs> <laughs> because I got the part, so it worked out. I think the best part is your face right now. The yeah. way you're doing. Yeah. If there was a camera here, this would totally, really work. Yeah, <laughs> totally got totally got a part. So were you super it, stoned, drunk? Okay. Out of my oh, mind. you were drunk. Okay, which was I, like three quarters of a Corona to make that yeah. happen. <laughs> it was at the Nerd a HQ of party. Yeah. Nerd HQ party at Comic Con. Oh, so you were just geeking out, drunk. Oh, just drunk. And I go, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I totally got a part, but whatever. Ooh, you're doing good. You're kicking <laughs> ass. Good for you. And he goes, thanks, man. And I go, why are you making it weird? <laughs> and he goes, what do you mean? I go, why are you being why why are you, why are you being weird right now? Why are you being weird? And he goes, I'm not making it weird. I go. Okay, well, cool, man. Well, good to see you. And he goes, you bet, man. Good to see you, too. I go, whoa, what was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was so what is that all about? Just pushing what, it. What are, you, what are you being, why are you being so weird? I made it so horrible. The next day I saw him at the con, and he looked at me and just went, oh, God, and walked <laughs> the other off. way. Like, not again, off. not again, not again. Not again, not, not happening, not happening. I know, yeah, you no. booked it. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm Shrek, bitch! Just yelling, I'm Shrek, bitch! And this poor guy who's doing great, like his career is terrific, and yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. He did Anyways. that ping pong movie. That ping pong. Movie. Yeah, he right. did the ping pong movie. So what's our number oh, yeah, one? Number one, the number one uh, which is kind of a little uh, redundant at this point. Now I kind of feel bad uh, asking <laughs> you, but number one question from. Uh, Oh, Bieber's God. buttholes sucking. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, I'm not kidding you. It's uh, Justin Bieber lives <laughs> inside of Drake's asshole at mm-hmm. yahoo.com. Mm-hmm. Um, That's amazing. That's this great is, email address. I love that all of my fans... Uh, really you know, either issues. love or hate Justin Bieber. There's nobody else in there. It's, it's just that. It's just these two people. All right, what's the um, question? This The last one was... Uh, the worst experience you've ever had. Well, shit, that would be the worst. Celebrity, but that would have been the worst. Is there another? Is there another horrible story that you have God. for for the fans that didn't get their question in time? Is there a story about a celebrity involving your feet that you can tell them? No, just people asking about okay. my feet. It's disgusting. Does that really happen, <laughs> dude? It's like the number one question any actor gets. <laughs> Like I like we when when Real O'Neill's premiered, yeah. Noah, the lead character, about fifteen tweets from fifteen different mm-hmm. people being like, "Are your feet ticklish? Can, show us a picture of your feet." And I'm like, "What? The what? Is the, yeah. Like, what is the infatuation? How with old feet? is that kid? I have no idea. You know, he's 21. He's actually 21. So he's he's that that age. kid is 21. Yeah, years that 12 year old looking boy is 21. Trust me. The first Phenomenal. week we were filming, he said shit in front of me. I was like, "Whoa, bro." <laughs> he was like, "What?" I was like, "You're like 15, chill." And he was like, "No, I'm I'm 21." And I was like. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go wow. grab some bruise out of Yeah, let's work, go get man. fucking trash. How old is your sister on the show? She's 14. Yeah, she looks... So like she's, she's the actual... Kid. Although she is the smartest of all of us. I'm sure she's very yeah. smart. They yeah. always are. The yeah. girls are always smart. Pretty much. Us. Well, that's because they're also... She's still doing schoolwork. Like, I don't remember yeah. what I learned in high school <laughs> at all. Yeah. When somebody asked me where Armenians were from the other day, I was like... Glendale? Glendale. <laughs> Glendale? <laughs> have a good answer. I don't know. I've got that. a couple that live down my street. I'd figure... Montebello? Where... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm not good at math. Um, let me... <laughs> Let me you ask get you. that math and geography are different subjects, right? <laughs> I don't think so. There's I no think, addition on a map. Uh, I'm pretty sure. All, I'm pretty they sure involve, they're the same. That's not the same subject. They involve numbers, <laughs> right? All of them. Geography, geology, and math—all the same. Am I wrong about that? Yes. Am I? I think what they all have in common is I forgot about all of them. Yes, absolutely. I don't uh, know. I know where Asia is. You, you should ask. Watch out. You should ask uh, when we have. Uh, uh, Brandon Braga, who's the producer of Cosmos on, you should ask him about that, whether geography and geology and math are all the same. I'm pretty sure. That I'm is. sure he really wants to answer that question. I'm sure you. he's going to. Well, Stephen, thank you for asking. <laughs> all right. <laughs> here's a here's a real question. I got two big. Well, there's a couple of things we got to cover. First of all, um, do you love is the story about. Do you have? Are you a big fan of this story? You want to tell us the story? <laughs> Holy shit! You want to <laughs> take really, two? I'm like, okay, hang on. Are we talking about the real O'Neills? No, no, no. 
Okay, here's a real question. <laughs> okay. Do you want to tell us about Real O'Neill's first? Or, or the strip club story? I'll tell you the strip club story. Seventh okay. let's hear it. All right, and then this we'll is, end on Real This O'Neill's. is a horrific story, by the tell way. Tell us the story. So I went to my first bar ever, and it was right when I moved in there, and it, uh, I had a roommate from back home who had friends out here. Uh, and he had a very wait, wait, this from is, back home. You're talking Covina, yeah. From it's okay, Covina, 25 let, miles. Let the man tell I had a friend story. from Covina who had friends out here who was a little older than me, and we went to a bar for the first time. And he brought his very effeminately gay friend and uh, his very hot other friend who they were best friends. Mm-hmm. And I had just gotten a little bit of fame, so I was feeling a little confident. And I got just trashed, like absolutely like just trashed. I, I found out what a surfer on acid was, which was a shot. It's fantastic. I haven't had one since, but I had about 14 of them. This girl starts coming on to me and I'm like, this is dope. This is pretty awesome. So we start making out and I'm like, this is, gr- this is the coolest thing. She was like 23. Uh, I was also 23. Whatever. And, uh, and all of a sudden I like start feeling like a scratch like on my face. And I'm like, what is happening? And then I feel another tongue. And I open my eyes and this dude has wedged his way in. Oh! And it's like, it has added into a three-way here. And I, oh! and I being, oh! being drunk and scared, was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and I exploded and I ran out the bar with my buddy and I was like, this is, this is terrible. And we're walking home and I'm like, we're going to Seventh Vale. We're getting our fucking manhood back. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> what the So f- I walk into Seventh Vale and I find the First woman I saw, and I was like, I want a third, what is it? 30, 30 minute lap dance, let's do it right now. <laughs> and I, she takes me in the room, oh. she lays me down, she starts giving me a lap dance, and this is where the nice guy thing comes in. About eight minutes into this 30 minute lap dance, I'm like, oh fuck, this is terrible. I'm totally degrading this woman. <laughs> and I, I pull her down, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, ma'am, I'm sorry. I like, I can't do this. Like, I feel terrible. Like, I'm degrading you. And she's like, no, this is my job. Like, yeah. this is what I do. And I was like, I get it. She would not let me get out of it. So I finally came up with this line. I was like, listen, ma'am, my mom was a stripper, and like now, like I feel like I'm really like going against that, and like it makes me feel really uncomfortable. I was like, I'll pay you. I'll tip you. Please let me go. Then she's okay. She finally let me go. Yeah, I she, paid she was her. like, no refunds at my that point. My buddy would not leave. I ended up having, because my other buddy went up and passed out with the door locked, took my keys. I ended up passing out against a fence, and I woke up to my other friend in the middle of, of the street screaming, Seventh Veil, I am not worthy, and falling to his knees. And I was like, Ooh. this is the worst thing ever. And I woke up the next morning, I had black pants on, I had just like stripper shit on me. And it was just, yeah, oh, last, first and last time God. I ever went to Seventh Veil. Wow. Body Shop, on the other hand, super dope. Yeah, <laughs> Body Shop, bringing the heat. Yeah. That's amazing. That should be a commercial for the Seventh Veil, right there. Yeah. yeah. Just that, nice. just that Get your manhood story. back. Get your manhood back. Holy crap. Yeah. What a fucking story. <laughs> yeah. when, did that happen during... Nickelodeon? Yeah. Was that, ah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That was very cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's the funniest thing about Nickelodeon, and people don't realize this, is that when you're on Nickelodeon and you're doing a kid show, everything in you as a human being f- is fighting against yeah. being like on a kid show, mm-hmm. uh, being PCG. I'm G rated. Nice to meet you. Everything in you is like, I want to go to a strip club. I want to <laughs> set fires in the forest. It's like rebelling against like, your, your parents after yeah. being like, you know, cl- locked in the closet for yeah, so long. They're you're like, I'm out of here. You can't do any of this shit. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. I went to Vegas with a friend and we shot fireworks out the side of the window That's of his insane. car into the desert and like did all sorts of re- shot guns and did all sorts of really wild dangerous driving. shit <laughs> while driving <laughs> during being on Nickelodeon because I, you just you hit a point where they're like they're monitoring everything yeah. and they're up your ass well see but I was lucky you know. too because nobody I didn't I didn't start getting recognized for True Jackson I shit you not until about a year ago Wow. wow. So I went I went all this time like I could go anywhere and now like I, can't, I it's really hard to go to like malls and like any place like that where there's kids and it's always True Jackson. Yeah, because which those is so kids, weird. those kids are now, you know, 12, 13, I, 14, 15 are and now up like, into their 20s. Yeah. yeah. And you run into them and they it's get true. very excited. It's crazy, but it never happened then so like I was free to go and do a lot of things because people didn't had no yeah. idea. I was fine. I used to get recognized um by strippers from because they knew me because uh, their kids because their kids the watch the show. Yeah. Nice. That happened in did Vegas. They tell, we did they tell Vegas. you that while giving you the lap dance? Yeah, like, we were. My, my kid we were, loves we were there for my uh, sapphires. Yeah, yeah, for my friend's bachelor party. Yeah, uh, nice. for our friends, a comedian we know friends. he was yeah. getting yeah. getting, getting married, married, and uh, yeah. we were there at Sapphire. And yeah, it was. And the stripper was like, "Can I just tell you that like I watched the show? You make me laugh so much on the show. Like my, my while kid, she's twerking on your yeah, she's like my my kid loves it. Yeah, I was like. 
Oh, well, bring him over here. I'll take a picture. What's happening right now? (laughs) Uh, All right, let's get. We gotta. We gotta wrap this thing up. But we need to talk about this show that you're doing, Real Real O'Neills. Tell us all about this show. I mean, it is a. It's a huge hit, and it is killing it, and it's a fantastic show. It's doing pretty great great at the moment. Yeah, I mean, we're you know we we just started, so we're building an audience at the moment. Um, It's a great show, and I think it's it's you know Irish. For those who haven't seen, it's on ABC Tuesdays at eight thirty. But it's like a you know your seemingly perfect Irish Catholic family who finally let out all their stresses and everything and flip the cards get flipped and they then have to face the reality of like actual problems in now, their is this, life. Is this a single camera comedy? Or yeah, is it, it's, uh, it's shot camera. exactly like Goldberg's in the middle mm-hmm. and yeah. Fresh Off the Boat and stuff like that. But, um, but I, what I love about the show the most is that it's actually doing really good things for uh, like the youth of now because it, it is revolved around a kid who's 16 who comes out of the closet to his very religious parents and then it's basically him trying to come into his own skin and you know realize that he can be himself in this world D- does he try going to the seventh veil to get his he doesn't you know i took him there <laughs> myself uh that was off camera oh, <laughs> no um but it's it's really nice i mean every episode there's at least five people while we're because we live tweet every week and wow. uh, there's at least yeah we get we all actually get together and live mm-hmm. tweet together at like each yeah. other's houses and drink oh, wine cool. it's amazing that's so but there's cool. at least five people every and i should you know every episode who are like, I'm watching the Real O'Neills. I just came out to my parents. Wow. wow. And there's people who have written like, you know, in their notes, like and posted pictures being like, this is really changing. Like people who are 30 or 40 now being like, I wish I had this then That's because amazing. it's really helping me like with this. And then there's a lot of younger kids who are like coming out of the closet and feeling more comfortable because of this show, because they know that they can continue to live. And that, and no network show has had a 16-year-old kid. You know, they had McCarthy's and Modern Family does it, but it's never been focused on a younger a person. Younger one, so yeah. what network is this? Which network? ABC. 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 Yeah, yeah, so dude, it's actually like good it's for doing them. something. It's, good for yeah, them so for that's, making that choice. I think we have that leg up on the fact that like at the end of the day, like our sitcom, which is supposed to be just funny, is actually making somewhat of a difference. In it absolutely is, man. I mean, look, you know, any time that you can do something like that, and I mean, you're making like you're making such by doing a show like this and your character is so supportive yeah that's a, i play a jock like and that for me was the coolest thing about it was like yeah. i saw a jock and i'm like okay he's gonna be a bully egotistical like douchebag yeah but he's the opposite and he like sticks up for his brother he loves his brother he literally forgets that his brother is gay because he doesn't care and that's yeah. something that doesn't ever and that's the thing i get all the time people are like i wish i had a brother like yours or yeah. this is how my brother is and it's so nice to finally see on tv so it's good. it's really not it's handled very very well yeah. because on uh like on Glee, which did a great job with a lot of that right. stuff too, but on Glee you had to deal with the the music side yeah. of it, which yeah. it's fine, but you know like that's a hard show to get your yeah. family to watch, yeah. you know, to sit around with your dad and your mom and stuff. And it, what what show does it follow? It follows fresh off the boat. Yeah, fresh so off it, the boat. It's is, good, but it, they're two. That's the one problem we're having. It's they're two completely different, different shows. But we're luckily sticking right with him. Like we retain the same audience. What does so fresh off good. the boat follow? Fresh, oh, I, I don't know. It comes on at eight, so we come on at eight thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the shield uh, agents of the show, shield. They show us. your show uh, in reruns after Goldberg's. I've seen it. Every no, no, but Goldberg's. when we premiered, we they they premiered us on a Wednesday with an episode after the Goldbergs and an episode after Modern Family, Got and then we it. moved it. to like to our original mm-hmm. date. That's really Tuesdays. it's really smart though because well anytime like people sit and they watch Fresh Off the Boat as a family, that yeah. is a very funny show, yeah. and your show is is, is similar. And it just, you know, a family will just be sitting there enjoying their night. Yeah. They're, now they're watching this show and it's just more entertaining, more yeah. stuff to watch. And then suddenly they're getting hit with this message that's like a really positive message. Yeah. And, you know, if, you know, if it uh, helps anybody come out of the closet and help them, yeah. you know, open up to their family, I think that's wonderful. That's think, what that's we're doing stuff. it for, you know? Well, you're doing a great job, man. I'm really proud of you. I'm really Thanks, happy man. that you're uh, you're doing the show. And you're doing a great job. That character is great. Thank you. It's, it's all, really it's, cool. it really comes from the hair. The slick back hair is, 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 is really what cool. makes it The Propecia it all. is keeping it going. See, that's why. That's I'm, why I'm losing fucking hair. It's because they put out. ten pounds of gel in it, and it's basically it's like a oh. it's like a shell. It's like a turtle shell on my head. If you if you go the opposite way, you will cut your hands. I shit you not. You should push. Well, see, good hair. Hell, oh, I, I I pushed all season, and I told them second season if they don't have a makeover episode, I'm showing up with a buzzed head. Good good hair is the reason I'm why. Give, why I'm Steven, not gonna give them an option. Good hair is the reason yeah. why you're on a network sitcom, and Steven's doing this podcast. Yeah, absolutely. that's the difference. This is, this but is, you're so much smoother than I am. I'm bald. <laughs> I'm so bald these days. The hair on your face makes up for the hair, the lack of hair on your head, yeah. though. All right. Um, 
dude, I think it's uh, it's so awesome to have you in here and to share, to chat with us, and to be so honest. I told so you a couple open. stories I've never told anybody. Dude, so it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> there you yeah. go. You know, and you know, I think uh, you kind of have to do that. You kind of have to let things fly a little bit. Well, it's, and... I'm still breaking out of the Nicholas. I'm still I, there are things that I get worried about saying because I like fuck. Like I don't. The first time I said that on a podcast a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, sh- oh, oh, wait, I can do that now. Like yeah, yeah. I can say these words because I'm not under the eye of people that don't want me to Big not be a child so absolutely. I'm absolutely. Finally being, I finally get to be myself and talk about how I make out with guys and, yeah, and, and <laughs> embarrass myself in front of Josh Peck, you can do you know? live I'm, commercials for <laughs> the seven fail on our podcast exactly. absolutely yeah. uh, our new sponsor come we on had, down we had a whole uh, uh, you know the thing that took me out of out of doing uh, the thing that took me out of Nickelodeon's like where they couldn't have any control over me anymore right. and was very uncomfortable for for them uh, was I was on uh, Ari Shafir's podcast, This Is Not Happening, <sighs> and on his uh, show, I told the story about smoking weed with Snoop Dogg Dog. and having a full blown panic attack and crying in front of Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You had a panic attack? I had a panic I, attack. Here's the funny thing you told me this story yeah. a long time ago. Did not involve a panic attack. I try to make it you cool. You try to make he it cool. I try to make it cool. Dude, I spoke yeah. to Snoop Dogg the other day, and I was, I was like, like, oh, dope. And he's like, it was dope. And now yeah. I'm like realizing that behind your eyes, you're like, it was the scariest thing I <laughs> was. I right. cried. He I cried. cried. I cried. Blunt. Was it not a blunt? It was two blunts. You don't do blunts, man. We Black see. people do blunts. They don't do bongs. White people do bongs. They don't do blunts. That's that's how that works. Yeah, okay? I mean, it was. A, I, I asked him if it was medical marijuana. He said it was military marijuana. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah he probably it was, got it from a briefcase and some very possible. Military. It was absolutely <laughs> the most. I said. Uh, he said. Uh, When's the last time you smoked, son? I said eleven years ago, and he said, "Oh, you gonna die tonight, son?" <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. But like, you tell us once you start talking and you start getting yeah. shit out, the you know the fucking world changes with you. Yeah, and that and you know you're a grown man, you're crushing it, you're on a network show, and uh, and I have uh, no doubt you have uh, wonderful, amazing things coming up in the future. Well, now that you, you've said it, it will be true. It Thank shall you. be true, yes. and you will come back and you will hang out with us again. And Anytime, we will talk again. Anytime. Um, Matt, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, at Matt Shively one on Twitter. Uh, go to Instagram. It's at Matt Shively. Uh, don't have a Facebook, Snapchat. Matt Shively. I don't. It's all Matt. Did Shively. you? When did you get rid of the Facebook? When I, I have a Facebook, but it's private. I, I have to have one thing that yeah. I not like bombarded on feeds, like yeah, because I have so many fans. No, I'm yeah. just saying, like <laughs> you, you know, what? I like to keep up with people, and when you have that many, like f- you follow people back and stuff, you can't. You're just reading their stuff, and it's I, all about Justin Bieber sucking butthole or something over it, and they really do suck a lot of butthole. He's so much. I had a I had a, a a private Facebook and then I had a public uh, I had a public Facebook and then I had this private one and I thought like I can just say whatever the fuck I want on it and I was for a while until I realized my aunts and uncles and cousins yeah. are on there too yeah. and they're all listening to everything I say and yeah. they're like Stephen the words you're using <laughs> they're just offensive these days you said dick bag why did you say dick bag <laughs> Justin Bieber's living in Drake's <laughs> asshole what's happening <laughs> uh, Matt Walker where can they find you uh, I'm the administrator of Matt Shively Matt Shively's feet dot com you can check it out you've got lots of photos oh, I'm gonna be that's taking what's sticking we're, out we're of your doing pocket a, we're doing yes. a photo shoot after the podcast uh, but go to funnymatt.com and you can find all about me. That's all right. Fine. And uh, you can always get me at Stephen Glickman, S T E P H E N Glickman, on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and come to the nighttime show at the Hollywood Improv. Come to the nighttime show at the Hollywood Improv. Go to the Hollywood Improv. Uh, dot com. Uh, we're we're talking to the improvs about touring our show to other wonderful places. Hey. So keep a look out there. And, uh, Rick, Rick, come, bang, bang. Bang. come down to the damn show, and we love you. Okay, thanks a lot, and uh, listen for more stuff. Bye. Oh, no.